Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we got a Pentagon logic puzzle here for you. The puzzle is this. We have one pentagon, two pentagons, and three pentagons. The numbers inside are 19784, the second one 91764. We don't know what this one is, but the other ones are 5, 7, 6, and 8. And with just this information, our goal is to figure out what this obviously little number is right there. Now, pause this video, see if you can figure out a possible solution for this. Okay, but we're gonna, of course, dive on in, and if you're lazy, don't wanna figure it out, just keep on watching. We're gonna show you a possible solution here. All right, and again, don't judge my pentagons. All right, so we're looking for some pattern, right? So obviously the number within each pentagon is has some connection or maybe a connection across. So I wanna see if I can find a way to create the numbers within the pentagon here, okay? And the first one I'm thinking about is 1498. And seven. Let's look at the 14 and 98. 14 goes into 98 seven times. All right. So we have some division going on. Let's see if we can combine that maybe or apply it to the middle pentagon. 17649. 19 and 76. Let's look at those pairs here. 1976, 1976, 19 goes into 76 four times. Okay, so we're clearly seeing if we grab two pairs of numbers, we're dividing into them, we get one by itself. All right, let's look at the last one here. We have five, seven, six, eight, we don't know what this number is. But right now, something is jumping out to me. Eight and 56, eight goes into 56, seven times got it but we have a missing number here we have a pattern we did the division it works but we don't have that missing number and really this is actually pretty simple if you think about it don't forget one of the greatest numbers of all time zero zero eight is still a number it works right there and so zero eight goes into 56 seven times and so good old zero is a solution to this Pentagon logic puzzle. Now, I hope you learned something here and had some fun uh, while watching the video. And if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We just try to make fun math videos for people and uh, your subscription and like will help us make more. So, as always here, thanks for watching.